Welcome to what I consider to be one of the most important chapters in this entire Photoshop lesson series. It's on selection. Selection is a keystone skill. And by that I mean, it's something that will impact everything you do in Adobe Photoshop. A day would not go by if you worked in Photoshop for eight hours that you would not be relying on selection to help you do things. Now I'm going to press the tab key. That kind of isolates everything. Remember, tab means get rid of my panels and let me work without them. If you know the shortcuts to get the things, you could work this way and it kind of eliminates the distraction. If I pick up my paintbrush tool, I think you know what's going to happen if I begin painting. But the thing to remember here is that I can go anywhere and do anything I want to in that image because I didn't select anything and I love undo. So let's go ahead and press the undo key. If I pick up my marquee tool and make a selection, and you see this is where the importance of selection is. If I go back to my brush, and you know this, what I'm doing basically is I'm making a selection to control where I can work. Not that you would do this, I understand that, but the whole idea is that controls my workspace. If you want to get rid of a selection, you can press Control D as in David. But here's another one you might want to remember. Let's say you made a really good selection. It wasn't something as simple as a rectangle. It's something like, well, maybe that cloud up there. And you made a very good selection of it. And it's a couple of minutes later. You haven't done any other selections. But you say, ah, you know, I wish I could get that selection back. I didn't save it as a channel. But I don't want to undo to the point of getting back to the selection because that would undo a lot of things I've already done. Don't forget if you go to the word select on the pull down menu, you get reselect. That will reselect the last selection that you made no matter how long ago it was. But it will always be, by definition, the last selection that you made. So, selection is a wonderful workspace and it allows us to control everything in the image. With that in mind, Let's look at this image. Now, Gramps had that house for a lot of years. He used to park his tractor over here in this shed right here. You know what? I think that shed should be a little bit lighter. How about something like this? Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And you know what? He painted that house every eight years religiously, and he always used the same color. He would go to the paint store and have them mix that color. They had it on file. He didn't want to change the color. But I think it's time for a change of color. What do you say? How about something like this? Yeah, that looks pretty neat. But now we got the house painted. And you know what? Driving that tractor all those years, and he had a 57 Chevy that was totally classic, wore out this area right here. And I, I don't know, I want to reseed that area. Make it look like it's grass again. How about this? Yeah, that's a little bit better. And you know what? That cloud annoys me. I want to get rid of the cloud. How about this? There, that's better. But you know what? I want to change the sky completely. How about this? Yeah, I like that. So there you go. Now, what did I do? Everything that I did involved things like adjustment layers, color switches, curves, levels, all those things are there. But they would not have been possible without accurate selection techniques. So the difference between understanding selection and just kind of like bullying yourself into it is the difference between taking a half hour to make that selection to change the color of that house or two minutes, or even one minute, because you know what you're doing. That's what this chapter is all about. It's all about selection. On to the next.